Well, that's a good question. That why Muslim men don't shake the hands of other women? Well, one of my colleagues also asked that. Well, I said, listen, listen. The problem is that you have to put every single thing into context. Now, if I shake hands with Cynthia, I might not feel anything. If I shake hands with Susan, I might not, you know, it's run of the mill. I shake hands with, with Sarah. I said, oh, wow, what soft hands you have, Sarah. I said, wow. So I will automatically, it starts with the touch, you see. Men, men get excited by the sight and the smell. Just imagine when they start touching. So it is, it is a safeguard. Why Islam actually tells us not to, uh, not to touch the, the opposite sex because you, you, it's, a, it's a way of prevention. Now, some, some people say, well, this is a bit extreme and what it is. You know, there are many songs even in the Western culture. You know, I lost my uh, lover uh, on the Tennessee waltz or something like that. It was some old, uh, some song that, you know, because the man danced with the other lady and, and then the other lady oh, went away with the other man. So these things happen, but we always have this white elephant in the room and never talk about it, you see. So in Islam, what it teaches is not because it's degrading women. Oh, you shook my hand. Oh, I am defiled as a man. I am not. It is out of respect that you don't do that. You see, in Islam, we don't look at women as objects. So we look at them as our equals because they are from us, from the same soul, you see. So we respect our sisters, we respect our mothers, we respect our wives. So we respect the other gender and same, and same thing for them respecting us. So you don't see a Muslim sister coming and shaking hands all the time. Now, if it happens now and then, some people make such a huge issue out of it, they shouldn't. But at the same time, there is a misconception as to, oh, the Muslim men, they don't shake hands because uh, they think women are inferior. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the inferiority complex or making uh, uh, women, you know, having a condescending view uh, upon them. Not at all. It is out of respect. It is out of courtesy for maybe her husband or uh, maybe her because, you know, I, I might, you know, all of a sudden fall in love with her and she's a married lady. Just it starts with the touch. Every single thing. That's why there are so many marriages that are destroyed because there are close quarter relationship with a man and woman. And the woman actually is married. The man is also married. They meet in offices and it starts off with the look, the nice talk the touch and the pat on the back and this is how it starts you might think that i'm going to a bit extreme but this is how it starts so islam is a way of prevention so it is, has nothing to do with demeaning of the women it has to do with prevention of not actually breaking the family the family uh, uh, unit so i hope i i hope I, I have conveyed this message that you know it it is it is nothing to do with 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 uh uh, subjugation, it has nothing to do with repression, it has nothing to do with looking down, it only has to do with that we actually make our lives a bit more pure rather than that we have to do that. You we start shaking hands, we start hugging, we start doing all of these things and one day as I said it might not happen to all, you might hug 99 women but there will be one that you might like a lot and then your wife will be very very upset if you elope with her. So this is why, this is, a, this is a prevention kind of attitude that Islam takes. So this is, uh, so next time when you see a Muslim man shying away from, from shaking hands, then you will know that the reason why he is doing so is to just safeguard himself and his family has nothing to do with uh, degradation, inshallah. And please do remember that it's a cultural thing that we do here in North America, in Europe, in the Western world, that men and women, they shake hands. Um, you know, you know, we learn all of these etiquettes for, for the Japanese, for the Chinese, for the Filipinos, for the Malays, uh, and even in India, in Orthodox uh, Hinduism, that you will find that men and women, they don't shake hands, eh, culturally, that they don't shake hands. Uh, why is it that always that we have to thrust our way of life or our understanding onto everyone else? I think it is better for us to have some kind of acceptance of other people's walks of life, other people's mannerisms, other people's nuances in their culture, so that we can be able to get along with everyone else, you see. 
it, at the end of the day, it is not about me winning or you winning. It is about living with each other. So if people don't shake hands, don't make a big deal. If they shake hands, don't make it a big deal. But at the same time, we respect. We should respect everyone else's rights and everyone else's viewpoints. And hopefully we can live in a better world. Uh, so next time, I'm not shaking your hand. <laughs> So uh, just just take it easy. Uh, don't let this go out of uh, out of the hinges, uh, and let's 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 come back to dialogue and understanding. It, it's a small issue, but I hope I've clarified that. Thank you very much.